Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, I don't know where you all live, but the weather is finally starting to break here and I'm a little excited. So today I wanna to show you all my spring slash summer wash day essentials. But before we get into today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell so that way you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So I have a slew of products here on my desk that I'm definitely gonna be using this spring and summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through these products in the order that I do my wash day. Personally, my wash days almost always start with a pre-poo. One of my absolute favorites I'm actually out of, but I'll be sure to insert a picture, is the African Pride Pre-Shampoo Treatment. I have numerous videos where I've mentioned that pre-poo treatment. I also have a video dedicated solely to pre-pooing, and I'll make sure I leave that linked in the cards. The African Pride Pre-Poo just always comes through in the clutch. It's it's super accessible and super affordable and bottom line it just works well for me it gives me great moisture and slip before I go in for my wash day so OGs already know that it had to be included and another recent pre-poo fave is this Cheve pre-poo treatment from Negus Banda which I have used in a couple of videos this it's just, it's just great. If you have been watching my recent wash days, you have been seeing this in action. It's super moisturizing and nourishing to my hair as well as my scalp. The ingredients are phenomenal and it just melts my tangles away and just makes wash day a million times easier. So use code trust as a checkout. So that wraps up the pre-poo segment. Let's go ahead and roll right over into cleansers. The first one is no surprise to anyone that's been on my channel for longer than five minutes. And this is the main choice exotic Kool-Aid, minty guava, and kiwi shampoo. At this point, I have completely lost count how many times I have mentioned this on my channel. During the spring and the summer with the sun being out a lot longer during the day, of course your hair can be a little bit more dry, but you're also sweaty. So not only is this giving you a thorough cleanse it's leaving your hair moisturized and it's also really freshening and stimulating to the scalp this is one of my favorite moisturizing shampoos and with it having that mintiness to it it's also going to be really great for my sweaty ass scalp this summer so needless to say I'll be going in with this a whole lot another cleanser that I have mentioned on my channel at this point numerous times is this Sienna Naturals happy shampoo also one of my absolute favorite moisturizing shampoos if you saw my Sienna Naturals review you know that I started that video with an entire attitude but the second that this touched my hair my attitude went out the window. This is one of the most moisturizing shampoos I've ever tried. It's a really lightweight, gentle formula, but it gives a really thorough cleanse and I'm even able to finger detangle with this shampoo. So the answer is yes. So that is it regarding my moisturizing shampoo options for this spring summer. But you all know that I love to double cleanse and when I double cleanse, I tend to go in with a co-wash or a clay cleanser. That being said, let's go ahead and roll into my secondary cleansers. This first one is a household name and as far as I'm concerned, is just kind of what set the benchmark regarding co-washes. And this is the As I Am Coconut Co-wash. I have been using this As I Am Coconut Co-Wash for quite some time, but not nearly as much time as I probably should have. For a significant portion of my natural hair journey, I was very anti-co-wash. I just was not convinced that a co-wash could cleanse my hair and scalp thoroughly, but I was very wrong. This has been a household name for years for a very specific reason. It's affordable, it's accessible, it's a brand we know and trust, and you get hella product for like nine bucks. This has fantastic slip and it gets the product build up off of my hair and scalp without leaving my hair feeling like hay. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. Another co-wash that I really enjoy is this Eden Body Works Papaya Castor Scalp Cleanser. Another super effective and affordable co-wash. This is 12 fluid ounces and I know for a fact it's under 10 bucks. Not only does this give me fantastic moisture, it gives me fantastic slip, and it also makes my hair and scalp feel pretty clean. So definitely recommend you try this if you're interested. Another co-wash that is absolutely going to be clutched this spring and summer is this Oyen Handmade Ginger Mint Co-wash, which I have also mentioned on my channel multiple times, and I actually just used this in my most recent wash day. Again, shout out to the home team for this beautiful gem. This is also a co-wash that is really effective at removing product buildup. It also has strengthening ingredients to really help fortify the hair. So not only am I getting a good conditioning cleanse with moisture,
moisture and slip. I'm also strengthening my hair and helping with length retention. Plus, you all know how I feel about a tingly scalp. The answer is yes. And the last co-wash that I want to mention today is this Curl Smith Curl Quench and Conditioning Wash which again, I have mentioned previously on my channel. Now listen, I know that Curl Smith is a little pricey, but I have to say that for me, this has been worth the investment. The ingredients are phenomenal. This gives me a great cleanse. It leaves my hair feeling really nourished and soft. This also has black pepper oil in the ingredients. So again, I'm getting that invigorated, stimulated scalp sensation that you all know that I love so much. So this, this had to be included, I'm sorry. Lastly, for my secondary cleanses, I do have one clay cleanser that I want to include, and this is the Main Crush Crisis Control Ayurvedic Cleansing Mask. I've also used this in a recent wash day. This has probably been my favorite clay cleanser to date. This also has fantastic Ayurvedic and moisturizing ingredients, but what really stands out to me and what has made this my favorite clay cleanser that I've tried to date is how it makes my scalp feel. I can't begin to verbalize how fresh and clean and stimulated my scalp feels after using this especially considering the texture of this looking literally like a deep conditioner but I'm just not gonna question God's goodness now you all know that I preach down and love to double cleanse my own natural hair but this clay cleanser in particular has been effective at being my one and only cleanse during a wash day so it just had to be included on my list as one of my spring summer wash day essentials so the cleansing portion of this video is completely done let's go ahead and roll into deep conditioners now if you are a regular here this first deep conditioner will not at all be a surprise to you. This is the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask, which again, how many times have I mentioned on this channel? I have been a stand for this deep conditioner for literal years. It smells good. It's really loose in texture, so it gives me really great slip, which is an added bonus on top of the moisture that it gives me. But I do have to plug that it is not curly girl friendly and it does contain silicones. So if you are anti-silicone, this will not be a good fit for you. Oh, but honey, this will 100% be used up this spring and summer by me because Bottom line, it just works well for my hair. Another moisturizing staple deep conditioner that I'll be using this spring and summer that I highly recommend you grab is this Miche Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. I am pretty sure this is their old packaging, but the fact remains that this is one of the best deep conditioners that I have ever, ever tried. Super moisturizing, fantastic slip, smells like candy, and I just, I savor this. I know I haven't mentioned this in a video in quite some time, and that's mainly because I don't want to use it all up because I don't really care to order from Mish at this point in my life because of how long it takes and their prices have gone up. And y'all know I'm a little bit cheap. However, that does not negate at all that this is an amazing deep conditioner. Another super moisturizing deep conditioner that I definitely recommend for this spring and summer is this main choice peach black tea and vitamin fusion anti-shedding and intense volume therapy mask. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos where I've mentioned this product, you know that I have avoided purchasing this for literal years just because I didn't feel like it was for my type of hair. I felt like this was gonna be for the loosey goosies and it wasn't gonna be really effective for my kinky, dry ass hair. But <laughs> the lie detector determined that was a lie. This deep conditioner is so thick and really weighs my hair down when I apply it. I also don't get slip from it, which is fine because personally, I don't need slip from my deep conditioner. It's just nice to have. This is 100% unquestionably, resolutely my absolute favorite and will definitely be put to use in my household this spring and summer. And my last super moisturizing spring summer essential deep conditioner that I want to mention today is this Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Ultra Nourishing Hair Mask. Oh look, another product that I have mentioned repeatedly on my channel. There is a reason that I circle back to this. Again, it is not curly girl friendly and does contain a silicone. This product in particular does claim that it reverses damage. I can't speak to that, but I can definitely say that it's super, super moisturizing and softening to my hair. Now I know for a lot of us, Carol's Daughter has just kind of fallen by the wayside, but as for me and mine, this is definitely a gem and will be super moisturizing and effective for me 
this spring and summer. So that about wraps up today's video. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know some of your moisturizing wash day essentials for this spring and summer. And make sure you let me know if any of the products that I mentioned today are included in your essentials as well. On your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.